Hey guys, it's Kuntaj here today, and I'm going to teach you guys how to roll off or cut off your 808s. Now, before people in the comment section go crazy, like, oh, this is a pointless tutorial, everybody should know how to do this. If you don't know how to do this, why are you even making beats, etc.? And I mean, I agree with the fact that, you know, people should know how to do this, but, you know, a lot of people don't. And I mean, somebody has to teach, in my opinion. And um, I know a lot of newer producers um, don't know how to do that. I go on SoundCloud sometimes. I'll hear some really crazy beats. But then the 808 will drop, and I'm just like, you don't hear the bleeding? <laughs> so, but what that means is <clears throat> when you cut off or roll off your 808, it just chops the wave file so the notes don't bleed off into one another, kind of like this. It, it sounds atrocious, honestly. And it's this 808, though, is a really weird example because it's really prominent here. Sometimes it's not as prominent on some 808s, and you honestly don't need to cut off every 808. But I typically do cut off all my 808s. <clears throat> but um, I have this beat here that I had already made. I already have a baseline for it, too, so I'm probably just going to paste that in for time's sake, but um, basically it, it, um, it's gonna be like an intro as like a synth bass breakdown and then there's gonna be a beat drop with an 808, so I'll play it. is going to drop right here so. and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste this 808 pattern I already had in I'm going to paste it back in now I'm going to play it without cutting it just you know to really emphasize how crucial it is that your 808s do not bleed It just doesn't just doesn't sound right. Now there's two ways, two methods um, of doing this. One method is right clicking the um, channel of your 808, and you can click cut itself. That's an easier way. It takes about two seconds to do. <laughs> now this one I'm not too big a fan of because. I think at some point you still have to, you know, manually chop it on the piano roll a certain way. Uh, no, see, it still does it <clears throat> even with that. So not really my preferred method, but it's one method. And like I said earlier, some work for some 808s, some are different with other 808s. But what I typically do is I'll uh, open the channel up. It usually puts it here, but you're going to click the envelope slash instrument settings window. You're gonna pull the attack back, not all the way back though, just leave it out a little bit. Or you can play with it how you want for taste, I always leave it back a little. <clears throat> and then the whole time I drag this one to the right, bring the decay time all the way down to the left, the sustain. You can either bring it down or put it up, it doesn't really matter. Or actually, Pretty sure I'm supposed to bring it down and then bring the release back. So now it's like really crisp and like really short. So how I want it to be. And um, honestly, that's really all there is to it. Very short, very painless process, very simple. And um, remember to like comment, subscribe to the Internet Money channel, and thank you for watching.